let's see one more problem. If x raised to n is cos pi by 2 raised to n plus i sin pi by 2 raised to n, then show that x1 into x2 into x3 into dot 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 x infinity is equal to minus 1 and x0 into x1 into x2 dot 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 x infinity is equal to 1. So here you can see that we have been given a general term that is x ray x n. Now to prove these two things, two results, in the first result we want product of all terms starting from x1 and in the second result we want product of all terms starting with x0. So to prove first result we need to find out values of x1, x2, x3 and so on. So to find those values what we will do is we will just substitute that particular number in this n and we will get that particular term. So if I want to find x1 I will substitute 1 in place of n. Similarly if I want to find out x2 I will replace n by 2 and I will find the terms. So let's start. So xn is given as cos of pi upon 2 raised to n and x1. So for x1 we will substitute n equal to 1. So it will give me cos of pi by 2 raised to 1 that is 2 plus i sine pi upon 2. Similarly x2 will become cos of pi by 2 raised to 2 plus i sine pi by 2 raised to 2. Similarly x3 will become cos of pi by 2 raised to 3 plus i sine pi by 2 raised to 3. Now let's see the product to prove the first result. Now in the first result it is asked x1 x2 dot 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 x infinity equal to minus 1. So let's take the product so x1 into x2 so x1 is cos of pi by 2 plus i sin pi by 2. Next x2 is cos of pi by 2 raised to 2 plus i sin pi by 2 raised to 2 and so on. So when we will multiply these all numbers. Now here we want multiplication of x1, x2, x3 but x1, x2, x3, x infinity all are complex number and whenever we multiply complex numbers we have to follow the rules of algebra of complex numbers. So here if I want to multiply these numbers then since the numbers are given in polar form when we multiply any number any two complex numbers that time the amplitude of that complex number gets added. So here we will get cos of pi by 2 plus pi by 2 square plus pi by 2 cube plus dot 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 and so on till pi by 2 raised to infinity. Similarly in sign part we will get same result that is pi by 2 plus pi by 2 square and so on plus pi by 2 raised to infinity. So now we have to find out value of this. So here you can see it is summation of infinite terms. So what we can do is we will find summation of this infinite series using the rules of AP and GP that is arithmetic progression and geometric progression. But before that let's simplify the given term. So from the first term we can take pi as common. So in the bracket 1 upon 2, 1 upon 2 square, 1 upon 2 cube till infinity will remain. Similarly in second term we can take pi as common. So let's see. So first term will become 1 upon 2, 1 upon 2 square, 1 upon 2 cube plus dot 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 infinity into pi plus i sin 1 upon 2 1 upon 2 square dot 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 infinity into pi. So if I want to find out answer of cos and sine terms I need to find out summation of this series. 
so here you can see that the series is in GP that is geometric progression because in geometric progression ratio between any two terms is always constant so here we can see that ratio between these first two terms is 1 upon 2 ratio between second and third term is 1 upon 2 so this series is in GP so in GP summation of infinite terms is given by s infinity and it is given by the formula a upon 1 minus r where a is the first term and r is that common ratio if r is less than 1 but if that common ratio is greater than 1 then formula is a upon r minus 1 now here you can see that this r is less than 1 so we will use this formula so therefore s infinity will become a that is first term first term is half upon 1 minus r r that is common ratio it is half so it will give me 1 upon 2 whole divided by 1 minus 1 upon 2 is nothing but half so we will get 1 so summation of these infinite terms is equal to 1 so therefore we can write it down as x1 x2 x infinity is nothing but cos summation is equal to 1 so 1 into pi is pi plus i sine pi now we all know that cos pi is minus 1 and sine phi is 0 so hence this will give us the answer as minus 1. Similarly, we will prove second result. So, in the second result, we have been asked to prove these terms. So, in the second result, it has been asked to prove x0 into x1 dot 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 x infinity. So, we will find x0. So, x0 is nothing but cos of pi by 2 raised to 0 plus i sine pi by 2 raised to 0 similarly x1 is cos of pi by 2 raised to 1 plus i sine pi by 2 raised to 1 into dot 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 because we have infinite number of terms now let's see the multiplication of these complex numbers now as the given complex numbers are in polar form so when we'll multiply complex numbers in polar form that type their amplitude gets added so we will get cos of pi by 2 raised to 0 plus pi by 2 raised to 1 plus pi by 2 raised to 2 and so on till infinity similarly we will get pi by 2, 2 raised to 0 pi by 2 raised to 1 pi by 2 raised to 2 till infinity in the second term now we can take pi as common in both the terms so we will get cos of 1 upon 2 raised to 0 that is 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 square and so on till infinity similar terms we will get in the second term so 1 plus 1 by 2 1 by 2 square plus dot 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 till infinity into pi so here if i want to find out answer of this multiplication then I need to find out summation of the given series. Now the series is 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 square and so on. We can easily say that the given series is in geometric progression because the series has common ratio and here the ratio is 1 upon 2. So using formula of summation of infinite terms in GP we will get s infinity as a upon 1 minus r that is a is 1 because first term was 1 1 minus 1 upon 2 so 1 upon 1 by 2 and 2 will go in the numerator we will get 2 so therefore the multiplication of this infinite series will be cos of 2 pi plus i sine 2 pi it means we are substituting this value in place of the summation series 
So we all know that cos of 2 pi is equal to 1 and sin of 2 pi is equal to 0. So we will get x0 x1 dot 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 x infinity is equal to 1. So we have proved the second result also.